In this video, I would like to explain how to achieve such model presentation. I used section boxes in a creative way, so I achieved this L-shaped cutout of the model. So let's start from scratch. I will be using out of the Revit basic sample project and go to the 3D view directly. First, I make sure that the section box is visible. I go to reveal hidden elements and select unhide elements. Now, when I am in the top view, I select model line and this line will be helpful for me in the next steps. It will act as a section line. So let's imagine I'm now drawing section lines. First one. Maybe I will draw it uh, on a higher level. So it's visible on top of this roof. I'm drawing three lines. I will now duplicate this view using option duplicate with detailing. I will go back to the top view and using this shape handles I will try to match the section plane with uh, with a drawn lines. I can zoom in so my work will be very accurate. We have to be really careful with these shape handles. Sometimes you can actually uh, click on the model instead of uh, this shape, instead of this section plane. Now I will do the similar thing in a second 3D view. Once it's done, I will join these two 3D views in a sheet. I click on a new sheet. Now, uh, now, now I will drag and drop these 3D views. And make sure uh, that I'm looking at this uh, model from the same angle. I will use ViewCube to do so. I deactivated the first view, go back to the other one and now I have to do uh, some work with joining them together. I've made mistake uh, in the first 3D view, so I will rotate it. I will move it slightly and look for the reference lines that will help me to match those two parts. Uh, the, best, uh, the best line I think will be this roof line. And I'm using my keyboard arrows to, uh, to make it really precise join. Right, okay. Now I will hide the scope boxes and hide model lines I used uh, that for uh, creating these sections. Similar in the second view. Here we have the final result, so we can use section boxes uh, in a creative way and uh, create even more complex section views than it's by default possible in Revit. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it.